fresh off bagging the title of Miss Asia Pacific World, Shrishti Rana is here with us in the e now studios. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. It must be really, really exciting for you to have bagged the crown for the country. Yes, it is. Surely, I'm very excited and happy as you can see that everyone is proud and I'm proud too. So, I'm very happy. I'm going to take you back a little bit to that moment when you were crowned. Can you recall what you felt for us? I have recalled it a hundred times till now. But yes, uh, the moment was so beautiful, amazing experience. And uh, I had worked really hard for it. So, you know, it is so exciting, so happy, so awesome moment. I just cannot tell you in words how happy I was that at that time. And another crown and a title that you also bagged was Best Costume. What was that about? What did you wear on that grand moment? Uh, for national costume, I wore a gown that was a peacock inspired gown. Peacock is our national bird, so it was a perfect national gown for me. So, and it had wings, peacock wings with it. So it was, I guess the judges really liked it and it was very appreciated. There's a whole host of people that are working on the back end to put together the final product. So, in, uh, who are these people that have worked towards putting, grooming you and taking you to where you stand today? Yes, obviously there are a lot of people that I need to thank because it is only because of them and their support that I have been uh, perform, uh, performing so well. To begin with, I would like to thank, first of all, it, I, had to th I have to thank God. I have to thank my family for being supportive. I have to thank my friends. And then uh, Mr. Winnie Jen, MD Times Group, and Miss India Organization, of course. So all these people, it was a teamwork, team of effort. And uh, um, I would say that everyone worked really, really hard for this. So yes, I have to thank so many people. And I have to thank uh, Falguni Shane for my finale gown. And uh, then there's Ritu Kumar, who also helped me a lot in my wardrobe. And there is my stylist, Isha, then my choreographer, Shah Magdawar. And yeah, so many people are Sabira Merchant, my diction ex expert. Yeah. We all know of you today, but there's a certain life that you led before the crown that everyone's so curious about. Can you talk to us a little bit about you before bagging the crown? Before that, I was uh, an ordinary girl, just like any other girl. Uh, I had dreams and I worked for it and I, and I have won now, so it's, it's, it has been a journey. It has been a journey from an ordinary girl to be a winning a pageant. So it has been all wonderful, wonderful. There are so many girls out there who were like you, who have dreams of bagging the crown. Yeah. Today, now that you have succeeded, any tips for them? I would just say that uh, you should believe in yourself. You should be yourself. Don't imitate anyone and uh, have faith and confidence and have a positive outlook. Even if uh, things don't work out at the first time, they would surely do if you work hard. You have a very exciting year ahead of you. Have you had a chance to let it sink in and what do you have planned for the rest of the year? Ah, the feeling has not yet sunk in. <laughs> and yes, uh, I have an exciting year ahead. I'm just hoping and looking forward to it. And uh, most importantly, that uh, I would like to tell you that Korean uh, entertainment industry that is the third largest in the world and uh, I would like to be an ambassador to bridge the gap between Bollywood and Korean entertainment industry and I would be lucky if I could do that. Then I have to ask you, is Bollywood calling for Shrishti Rana yet? <laughs> I don't know because uh, I have some certain responsibilities with the crown, with the title right now. So I would want to fulfill them and yes, in the near future, yes. Uh, if I get something good, yes. On a lighter note, an actor that you're really maybe dying to work with? Ranbir Kapoor. <laughs> oh, you didn't think much for that one. No. <laughs> okay, surely you don't beat Kapoor. And finally, I have to ask you, there's so many people who rooted for you at this pageant. Your message to all of them? I would just like to thank them for the constant support and faith that they had in me. And I, I am so happy that I made so many people happy and feel proud of me. So uh, please keep up the love and support. Thank you.